Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you how to build a basic website using free code camps curriculum. So in order for you to get started, you need to go to freecodecamp.org on your browser and to show you this page then scroll down then you find the new responsive web design certification and you click it. So here it is, I will go over it. There are different projects, but we are going to go over it one by one. So for today, we are going to start out with Learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Then we'll click on it. I'm sorry, we'll click on the first one. This is what we'll be building eventually. So let's get started. Um, here we have what your your programming code does look like. Um. There's there are instructions of what you're supposed to do and what and this is also a live view of um the programming you do will be shown here. So let's get started and let's begin. Step one HTML elements have opening tags like h1 and closing tags like h1 with a slash. Find the h1 element and change the text between its opening and closing tags to say cut photo app. So most HTML um, elements have the opening and the closing tag. The opening tag it has an angle bracket and the closing tag has angle brackets but also a slash. So um, most tags have a slash at the closing bracket. So step one, what we're supposed to do on step one is to change the hello world text here to cut photo up. So I'll do that right now. And as you see, as I type, um, the preview shows exactly what it's supposed to render. So this is the code, and this is what happens when you type this code. So we're supposed to click here to check our code, whether it's correct. So let's see what happens now. It says congratulations. So we've passed this first test. So we're going on to the next challenge. So step two, the H1 to H6 heading elements are used to signify the importance of contents below them. The lower number, the lower the number, the higher the importance. So generally what this is trying to tell us is um, if you have an H1 header, so H, H means like heading. So H1 means the, um, the largest of the headings to H6, which is the smallest one. So, so now they say we should add an H2 element below the H1 element that says cut photos. So I'm going to do that by clicking here and pressing enter to um, get a new space and type H2, the opening tag, and press cut photos. And as you see, as I'm typing, the code gets displayed on the second side. So, cut photos. So, let's check if I'm correct. Congratulations. So, now we're going on to the next challenge. Step 3 Paragraph elements are used to create paragraph text on websites. Create a paragraph elements below your h2 element and give it the test click here to view more cast photos so essentially what we're doing next is to create a p tag which is a paragraph tag we start with the angle brackets close and close it so we write the p instead of h this time around the p is a paragraph um, tag So we'll just copy the text. So you have to put a slash on the closing tag. So just to check over if everything is correct. Okay, let's see the answer. Congratulations. So we'll move on to the next challenge.